I saw an ad on TikTok that DK Oldies was having a Memorial Day sale. So in this video, we're gonna go onto their website, buy a game console. When it comes in, we're gonna go ahead and review it and see what kind of condition it's in and everything like that. Right here, as you can see, I have my computer pulled up and right on the front page, they have a 10% off sale for Memorial Day, which means I should probably pick something up and we can review them. now. The problem is, is I saw their Memorial Day sales pricing and it was expensive. However, I feel like if we can find a console, maybe just a really pretty bare bones console and maybe a game, I don't know, but uh, we're gonna have to go through this because there's a bunch of stuff. I'm thinking maybe like, Oh man, these prices are insane. This is worth like 80 to 100, not 200 bucks. I don't know. I may be regretting this because these console prices are insane. Like, <sighs> all right, enough about that. Let's go ahead and just go and check out some console and see if I can find anything that's even worth it. I'm thinking maybe GameCube, hear me out. I think this would be a great system to test because, uh, the games are oftentimes messed up, but we'll have to see if we can find something because I think uh, the price might be insane. <sighs> oh, I don't have a platinum GameCube around. Actually, I do. It's down there. Dang it. Um, let's see. Let's see. 150 is expensive, though. Let's see what a GameCube controller is, or a GameCube system is. Maybe it'll make me feel more comfortable, but these prices are insane. 76 bucks. Um, what's this acceptable Indigo? I feel like this is probably the way to go. Okay, so I'm doing this for you guys because this is absolutely overpriced. We've got a GameCube here, the Indigo one, and it does, I, I'm gonna pay the extra 10 bucks to get an actual controller here. So we'll add that to the cart uh, and we'll move on. I don't wanna check out just yet because we've gotta find a Nintendo GameCube game, which I think this might be the problem because those prices already I want to stay under $200 for this, so we got to find something. Metroid Prime? That's not actually that bad of a deal, but my guess is these are loose disc prices. And I don't want to buy a loose disc, to be honest with you, especially not for these prices. Mario Strikers, uh, that could be a fun one. Let's see, what else do we have here? Toadstool Golf. There's some really good ones, but there are also some really expensive ones here. Uh, yeah. 25 bucks for cars. Uh, your prices are a little too crazy. Kirby Air Ride is $109. Let's go back to that first page. I'm really leaning towards this Metroid Prime. I have a copy of it but the case is all busted which is why i'm kind of tempted let's see how much it is um wait man you see that when i pulled it up it changed the price let's see how much metroid prime is actually even going for because i don't know about this one the guys yeah 22 bucks complete or 40. Ah, these prices are just all over the place. They're, they literally are just making up their own prices, which I'm not a big fan of. But I want to pick up something that's not completely like a $3 game here, but Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, that actually just came out on the Switch and I've actually been playing it and really loving it, but let's see. Yeah, the prices on that have kind of come down because of the Switch game, I believe. So, ugh. Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
We've got a decision to make. I don't have Shrek 2 on the console. This might be it. Let's see how much it costs. 30 bucks? I know that's way too much, but let's see. Let's see if this is uh, even remotely close. I bet it's not, but we're just going to look it up. $12. $30. Man, I think I'm going to do this. So, uh, it's just so expensive. $170. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and purchase this now. And then in a few days when this comes in, we'll unbox it and talk about it and see if this was even worth it. Several days later. Okay, so it's been about four or five days since I ordered this from DK Oldies right there. You could see that it was from there. I tried to blur out everything else, but you know what's in this already. So let's go ahead and open it up and see kind of how it's packaged. If this was even worth it because this was really, really expensive. I paid $170 for everything here and that was with the discount because it was Memorial Day. So I got a 10% discount there. And starting off, we've got a bunch of packing peanuts. I absolutely hate these things because I know I'm going to get these all over the place. So um, I guess we're just going to do it. Let's get these out. Screw it. They're all going on the ground. I'll pick them up later. I hate these things. They're so annoying, but here we are. Oh, there's a ton of these things. They probably could have used less of these things. Okay, so we're starting to get down to the good stuff. So let me get this out of the way here for just one second. Uh, that's a lot of peanuts. But looks like starting off, there is nothing crazy here. So we'll go through. It's the Indigo GameCube console with a controller that's acceptable. I paid the extra 10 bucks for the controller and Shrek 2. It should be complete in box as well. So it looks like they did refurbish this on 520, which was not that long ago, maybe a week or two before I bought this. Um, and it looks like it was functional. The battery was replaced and the optical board was serviced. So that's kind of interesting, but get out of here with it. Starting off, we've got a player's choice, which I'm not really mad about. Shrek 2. I actually don't have this in my collection, so I'm glad that I picked this up. But it was pretty expensive, but... It looks like it's a pretty decent copy. Um, let's open it up. Everything is good there. Let's see. The disc has definitely been uh, resurfaced. You can tell because the edge kind of goes up instead of is flat. So hopefully this thing works. I mean, we paid a fat stack of money for these. So I really do hope that works. And last but not least, I got to get most of... <sighs> I already see something that I'm a little not happy about. So like I said, I paid a lot of money for this. And right off the bat, not even the AC adapter for the GameCube. It's some cheap, crappy one, which... It's uh, super annoying, but it is what it is. And then again, a third party controller or AV cord here. Still a bummer. Like I paid up for this and, and I mean, so far the condition's fine, but it's expensive. Here's the control. Oh, okay. I really don't want to talk bad, but this controller is black. Wh what? I paid extra money to get a good condition GameCube controller. And it's probably hard to see, but the right side of it is 
black. It's not even indigo like it was supposed to be. That's super annoying and... I don't know what to say. It, it's really crappy that they did that. And then here's the system itself. See, is it, there's nothing else in this. And looking down, I made a huge mess here, but... Oh, come. Hold, hold on, let me find that piece of paper again. Okay, so I got the paper from the ground and it says acceptable as the console. And I don't know if I would consider this cone uh, acceptable based on the condition. Um, it's definitely not good. I could see it before I even unwrap this thing. First off, this is the console, and again, it looks like something happened to this console. If you can see it on the side, and it's definitely scratched up and beat up, which is fine, but it's on both sides. And honestly, this looks like it might have been like close to a fire, um, because it's it's just like the controller, and I'm gonna try to show it to you on the camera, but. It's like a shade of blue, the normal shade of blue, but then it goes to like a dark black blue, which is really unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and plug it in, at least make sure it works. There's not a game in it. It does look pretty clean on the inside, but the outside looks pretty, pretty terrible. I... I'm really disappointed by this thing. Like, why are they selling third party controllers or cords, power cords, without like notifying you? I was expecting this to all be original, which is what I was trying to do, which is why I overpaid for that controller. But these little cords, I feel like, are gonna burn out really soon. So I've got this plugged up. So let's go ahead and plug it into the system itself and see if this thing turns on. And we've got a, a light, which I would assume, they said they tested this thing, so I'm gonna uh, test it off screen. If it works, cool, we won't make any note about it. I'm assuming it will, but honestly, I'm really d disappointed in it. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this thing and see how bad this looks on the inside though. I'm screwing this thing and I just realized they sent me a Japanese GameCube. I, when I look on the back, on the bottom, I have a Nintendo GameCube that I have already that's this black one. Whenever I look at it, everything is in English. But they send me a Japanese GameCube, which I definitely didn't buy. And honestly, I, I need to look it up and see, but let's go ahead and continue to take this apart. But this is not looking good. Like, I... Honestly, I wanted to make this video and just see, and I was kind of hoping it would just be like uh, overpriced and the console would actually be nice and whatnot, but I'm not getting good vibes. The more I look at this GameCube, the more I hate it. So give me a minute to unscrew this thing and we'll talk more about it. The good news is that this is definitely a... Uh, it looks like they've definitely cleaned it. I'm not gonna take it apart too much more. I just took the top cover off. It definitely looks like they went to town cleaning this thing, at least. So I'm happy about the inside of it. Uh, it looks like the battery may have been installed recently, which is what it said, or at least they serviced it. So I'm okay with this. I think um, on condition wise, interior wise i'm very happy i'm not gonna complain about it but <sighs> i have my issues with this and like i said 
I didn't come into this looking for problems. I just wanted to see what they had. And I want to prove to you that this is exactly the same one that I unboxed. You can see that it's got beat up stuff on the sides there. You can kind of see the blue tint, which you can see the blue to black tint, which is on the controller and the console. But overall, I got to look this up and see. I'm going to grab my phone and see if a Japanese GameCube is worth more or less than a US one. Okay, I just looked it up on price charting and it's actually worth less being a Japanese one. According to price charting, just take that as it is, but it's about 10 to $15 cheaper for a Japanese one, which kind of scares me because if I got this using my my name I didn't say anything about who I was or anything that means they're probably selling Japanese consoles to people and I really hope they're not scamming people but it doesn't look too good so that is the GameCube console that I got from DK Oldies and my thoughts about it if you want to see me buy more from them, comment down below and let me know what I should buy. Okay, before I end this video, I want to talk a little bit about this. Honestly, the condition of this thing is really bad. But the problem I see with this is the fact that I didn't order a Japanese GameCube. You can't even order them on their website. And the condition is absolutely horrible. This controller, the more I think about it, I paid more money to get a Nintendo controller only for half of it to be black because it looks like it might have been in a fire or something. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not surprised, um, but I don't know. I'm thinking I might reach out to their support and see if they can rectify this, but I'm still putting this video out no matter if they rectify it or not because they sent this to a customer and I think that's very bad and it's very bad for the game community. But honestly, I'm gonna get out of here. I wanna play some GameCube games and I'll probably end up playing Shrek 2 not to, be, not to lie to you. So whenever I get out of here, make sure you check out that video right there. But overall, I think the insides were good and clean, but I think DK Oldies is probably just overpriced and probably good at marketing, which is why they can sell so well. But I would shy away from it. Buy used, buy your local game store, not regional or big game stores, but buy local or buy used games and uh, just go out and game hunt for yourself. You can find better deals than this pretty much anywhere. So I'm getting out of here. So check out that video out if you haven't already.